Lionel called out to Line M and said, Look out! You almost intersected me. Line M replied, Well, excuse me. Get it? Skews, skewed lines, not intersecting. But we actually are going to be talking about intersecting lines on this lesson. So, one of the things that's going to intersect both of these lines is called a transversal. So you can see this very dark line here. I'll highlight it for you. That's a transversal. I've got a line over here and a line over there. These two lines may or may not be parallel, but the transversal intersects both of them. All right? So corresponding angles, those are angles that are on the same side of the transversal. There's my transversal. So they're either going to be above the transversal in this picture or below the transversal. And if I rotate this, then they would both be on either the left side of the transversal, which for you would be here, or the right side of the transversal. So they're all these corresponding angles are on the same side of the transversal. Not only that, they're on the same side of the corresponding line. So if you look at angle 1, it's below the transversal and to the right of the line that uh, it's created, the angle is created by the transversal in that line, so it's to the right of that second line. Angle 2 is also below the transversal and to the right of that line. So those are corresponding angles. So here I'm going to go ahead and do angle A and angle B. So angle A is above the transversal and to the left of the line. You see it right there. So I need to go above the transversal over here, so it's either angle E or angle H, but I need to be to the left of the line, so it's angle E. All right. Angle B is below the transversal, so I'm looking for either F or G, and it's to the left of the line, which means angle F is the corresponding angle for angle B. And I'll leave you to find the corresponding angles for C and D. Alternate interior angles, so this is a different type of angle pair. They lie on alternate sides of the transversal and in between. So there, here's my transversal right here. They're not on the same side. That's what the alternate means. And the interior means they're between these two lines that the transversal is crossing. So they have to be in the shaded region. So here, angle 1 and angle 2 are alternate interior angles. So in this example, I'm going to name a pair of alternate interior angle uh, pairs. I guess I'm a little redundant there. Um, I'll just go ahead and pick one angle. So interior, that means I have to be on the inside. So I'm going to pick either C or D. A and B don't count because they're outside of these two lines. See here, there's kind of a shaded region. Well, it's not shaded, but this region in between. So there's my transversal, and I'm going to pick angle C. Since it's alternate, that means I need to cross the transversal but still stay between these two lines. So the angle that goes with that one is angle E. Angle C and E are alternate interior angles. Now see if you can find the other pair of alternate interior angles in this diagram. So for further reflection, how can you tell when angles are corresponding? And what does it mean for an angle to be interior? What does alternate mean when talking about angles created by transversal?